Yo, Son of Beast here. It's day two. Today's video, we are doing shoulders, legs, and shoulders. Let's go. Shoulders and legs. Getting right to it. Here we go. Right now, let's get the day two going as we are ready to get started. If you have done the, you have done the, um, for most of the part about you guys done the chest and triceps, you, you could check this uh, video out. I've done a review so far. Um, I'll have my more workouts on day three uh, on the next day um, before I can uh, do the next set for, for next week. And also, I wanted to give a quick mention that I've just noticed that I have almost have 100 subscribers. And if you guys are uh, still subscribing to me, thank you very much. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You guys will we appreciate you so much. And right now, let's have a day two with the uh, workout part of shoulders and legs. Legs and shoulders. I'm about to say it the other way. Or shoulders and legs. Legs or shoulders, shoulders or legs. Anything. Let's get on with this. Okay, the first one that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to stay in control of my body. This is called a leg extension. So what does leg extension do? Well, it helps your uh, your body get, with your your calves are raising, and then your shin protection to have more height and push more leg like, forward outwards. Watch this. It comes here. You pull it, and then you come up. This is what happens though. If just like um, you know, like lifting up the uh, table already. It's not like just table that you are trying to uh, like the Russian leg lifts it doesn't it doesn't look like it like a Russian leg lifts but it, this is uh, seemed to be different to have a leg extension plan is to uh, hold it straight and then come down hold straight and come down and then whenever you're sh whenever you um your calves are feeling the better and your knees are getting really well then you have a lot of momentum to keep the uh, legs locked in tight. See, just like how it does. And then when you're all done, you just slowly come back down and then you'll be on to the next exercise. Better. So that was legs extension. Try leg extension and see how you could do. All right, next one, we're gonna be trying out those shoulder lateral raises. So lateral raises means that you hold it the um, when you have the bars out. It doesn't mean like you're uh, going from lateral like this because the arm is a little wide out. Sometimes the elbows could be hurtful, really painful. But this is the other way that I want to you to do. Watch my leg. Watch my shoulders. As you can see, my shoulders. You want to make sure they're they're up. And you want to make sure the uh, the weight of your uh, dumbbell needs to be facing outward. Make sure to lock in straight. Don't forget to keep breathing. We're going to come down. So once you have the uh, shoulder laterals, then you have it correctly. Just come up slowly and then come back down. And a good way to have a shoulder lateral is your arms, your shoulders get stronger. And even though they're really strong, you could do it better and try you could do it the, like I did, or you could do one at a time and go from side to side. If you could do two, that's better. That's great. That's what you could do with shoulder laterals raises by yourself. In the meantime, work on it and see how you can feel. And then we'll head to the next exercise that we are doing. So with that, let's, on to the, let's head on to the next one. This one should be a good for you. All right, so the next exercise we are doing is called the squat. Just like you're sitting on a bench or a chair, it's like you're sitting down and squatting back up once you come on, on a chair and you get off of the chair. So that is a better way to have a squat. But it's not like, it's kind of like this and this, but this dumbbell can help you a little better. Watch my demonstration as I can uh, lift it up. So you can see right here, this is where it comes down. 
and your uh, your lights are not even that close together. Therefore, you got to make it closer and not too wide because how this is happening is because you're going to lose your balance and sometimes your shins are not going to be good for you. So you come up, come down, and then count yourself in your head. And once you're uh, finished, then you can put it down nice and gently. And the good thing is, keep it values back straight, chins up, head up, and then eyes forward to look at your mirror. Or if you have a, if you have a bigger size of your room, then you can uh, have yourself in the own room. And I can count that down. Come up, down, up, down, up. So that was squats. Let's get to the next exercise so we can get that one better. And for that, let's see how we could do for our next one on day two. Okay, now we're back for the upper body strength. Then the next one we are about to do is the upright rows. So upright rows means when the it comes upward at a time and not putting downward once you have it here. So you start here, that's like downward. It doesn't help you uh, pulling your, your pants down. It helps you uh, get your gear on, gear up, and then, and then you most likely have to uh, squeeze your arms to come up. So as I, as I just demonstrated for you, this is what I have to just use. My legs has to come together and then my arms, they need to uh, be focused. So as, my, as I lift the camera up, just a little, um, little more, just a sec, and then, then, and then you'll see my uh, dumbbells working a lot uh, hard. Watch this demonstration, coming up, and then come down, it's, and then it's not like uh, like you're pulling up your pants right now. It's just pull up and then pull back down. It's not usually easy. Just try to keep in momentum. Make sure elbows are like tight. Make sure they're pointed. And then come back down. That way you can uh, have a lot better, better, uh, better raises to have put. And you'll have a lot more, more shoulder attacking for your strong body for your upper body strength and then you hold it there and then when you're done you drop it down if you, you can do the shrugs then you can do this for some reason you can do shrugs if you don't want to just do the upright rows that might be a lot better if you could do one just like that let's get to the next one we'll be right back all right, so we have been focusing on for the uh, upright rows, and then we did some uh, shoulder lateral raises, and then we have done some uh, squats that time, leg extensions. Now it's on to the uh, leg curls. So leg curls just don't mean like a pony back that kicks uh, kicks out of your way. It doesn't help that way, but sometimes it's just really, really hard to have the kick back, the donkey kick, the that's like the most advanced kicking stuff with the dumbbell, but this is more this is more better. Watch my leg here, and then when you start here, I'm thinking I suggest you to do one leg at a time instead of going two legs because that's not gonna work. It's because it's it body's gonna get really hard and it will hurt you. So as here, you want to make sure you line it up straight, and then. Ready to go. Now all you have to do is just pull your foot back and then come back down. Go back up again. Just like a donkey kick, but this is the curl up that I'm going to be using. So I call it the curl up for the uh, for the machine to use. Then uh, once you're done with the uh, leg, you can go ahead and do the other side of the leg as well. So as you can see, I'm on I'm on ten right now. Should be almost done. And then, now, after that, I will raise it, lower it slowly, and then go to the other side of the machine. So that's how it works. I'm showing you the other side right now, really quickly. And just like that, because if you're going too hard, then the uh, that's what all that has done, all it has done right now, it will slam so hard to the ground. And try to do it really nice and carefully, just better. And then, and then after that, 
you keep it going until you get to the end. Well, this is my this, well, this is my reps for 15, so I should be almost there. Well, and then done right there, slowly, and all done for you. Now try it by yourself. Let's demonstrate that one and see how you can do. All right, we're on our way to uh, to finish the uh, day number two before we end this. Now the next one, we're doing the front lateral raises, which is uh, pretty the same thing like lateral, but this is the front raises that I'm doing. Here's a demonstration for front raises. So as I'm standing straight, all I have to do right now is do one hand at a time like this, or two hands like this. So when you do uh, when you do these shoulder front raises, this is what your arms have to be. Your arms has to go right up. Don't swing it back because the uh, the back or arm or the elbow might be uh, a little getting a little crack out of you. So don't swing too hard and go go flying back because that gets gonna hurt the hurt the bones. That's not even good. So come up here, come down, come up, and you come down. And then just like that, just make sure you want to line up these shoulders. Make sure they're straight, like that. And then shoulders need to be far apart, like that. And try to keep it breathing just the right time. And that might be a little more better for you. I'm going to do one more. And then as soon as I come up with the shoulders, just try to relax your shoulders. Don't go, don't go tight in your, your shoulders. Just like that. Hold it there and down. So for that, that's the front braces. Here's our now last one, and here we have the shoulder races to push it up for. You'll be right back for the last one. All right, now this is the final uh, part for the arms. This is called the shoulder raises. As we've seen it before, uh, probably uh, they're lifting the good weights to use to pump it up so good. But now they have to uh, push even more with the shoulder raises. Here's a demonstration I'll have to tell you. Once your arms you come here, I have the 15 pound bells. Now I'm just going to be working straight ahead. I'm going to be showing you the upper uh, cam to look for my arms that are going to be up right up there. Now watch right here. I come up, I hold it right there, and now I look straight. Once your body keeps it straight, I make sure you're just not stiff, not tightened, but still. Now when you come up, you come up here, one, and then you come back down slowly, and then when you push a lot more, your shoulder will push a lot more, and then your arms will get a lot muscle tightening, like you're, a, like you're running track or something else, but I think this is more better to use it than getting the other way instead of going this. My suggestion is do the other way. So for that, that should do it for now. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel on my beast channel. And for that, almost 100 subscribers. Sorry about that, just need to stop it right now. 14 and then, and then. And then you can follow me on my social media on Instagram. For that, now do it by yourself for day two. We'll see you the next time for back and biceps. And for that, out of here. Gotta go now. Peace out, bitch. Till next time for day out, for day two, the the legs and shoulders. Bye.